How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say, we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done? You think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them, and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are. Elizabeth's blood, with her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. We must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship, a complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted, heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them, create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Yeah, Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. 
Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything, except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about. While Silent's and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. First Varl. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deep. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra protection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay. I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silence army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? With Aragala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Will be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Rakala's rebellion. 
from the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. Erend, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... We're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I... We'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenas can't hear us? 